Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do one more video today about the Canon Vixia HFR800 camcorder um, and specifically about the lenses that are available on the market or the ones that I've discovered on the market. I'll make this fairly quick uh, just to explain if you're looking to buy a uh, lens to put on top of the lens here, um, what you need to be looking for. So the key thing to know about it is that the diameter of the lens is 43 millimeters so um, in terms of lenses that I've been able to source both from Amazon um, and from other suppliers I found a few now what I would say is it seems to me and I, again I'm not a camera expert I'm just kind of documenting my video learning about camera through this YouTube channel it seems to me as a 43 is a relatively uncommon lens diameter you'll find more in the 52 range but just to show a couple of lenses that I picked up this one is a, a telephoto, telephoto lens 2.2 times and if I kind of put that actually on top of the webcam I'm filming this with you might be able to get some weird effects on my face and uh, the second one is uh, something I actually use a lot in fact the last video I recorded about the different microphone options um, I recorded with this lens this is a wide angle lens it's a combined wide angle lens with macro I'm not exactly sure how that works like where the macro component fits in but the wide the wide angle certainly works really really nicely so one thing i would say about the vixia hf r800 is it's not a great vlogging camera it's kind of there is a hack that i learned from a youtube channel uh changing the digital zoom to 57 times will give you a, a slightly less tight shot um so what i do is when i'm doing videos with this which i'm doing more often instead of the webcam i'm recording this video blog with is i'll put this uh, wide angle lens and again we can see if we can get some you can probably see it widening uh, even the webcam so um, w one thing I would say is quite heavy it will definitely add a bit of weight to the front of the camera but um, how you attach these guys is like so you just basically screw them on and now we've got the Vixia with its wide angle lens and if I were to do a, a before and after shot and I'm not because other YouTubers have covered this uh, ad infinitum then you definitely notice a big difference so it definitely adds a bit of weight to the camera because there is a lot of weight here it's kind of naturally leaning forward so you want to have it on something good and sturdy one more thing I will say just um, on the topic of sourcing lenses for this camcorder is that you can get a um, so I haven't uh, firstly I bought a couple of lenses that were specifically marketed as for the Vixia HF R800 then I just bought a couple of 43 millimeter lenses and I I don't think there's any difference I don't think the lens needs to be specifically made for this camcorder once the diameter is right and then taking taking these things off is pretty simple as well it's just a screw on screw in screw on mechanism and now I'm back to just the uh, the camera itself um, what I was gonna say is that 43 is obviously the correct diameter but you can also buy uh, lenses with a wider diameter like you'll see a lot more in my experience 52 millimeter lenses and what you need to get that to work is what's called a step up ring adapter it's literally just fits on fits between the wider diameter lens and the lens of the Vixia and it'll just increase that from 43 to 52 they're available in all different sizes so I'm sure whatever common lens sizes come after 52 mils there'll be those so they're called step up rings and I'll just do a little kind of slide across this video uh, with a couple of those products on Amazon uh, the final thing that you can get as well is uh, you can get lens filters so I've been able to source pretty much everything from uh, CPL filters to UV filters to ND filters and these are again uh, 40 43 millimeters you can see this is actually a macro lens this is a close-up 40 close-up this is a set in fact of four different macro lenses and they're all 43 mils so these ones are pretty straightforward to use um, all you need to do is literally just uh, take go to the front of your camera and uh, screw these on carefully and now this is a four times macro lens fitted over the front of the Vixia and you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and actually turn it on and if I can show this through the webcam I'll need to obviously open up the lens lens hood first this is supposed to be magnifying to four times and if I go ahead and uh, take this off my face should be kind of four times closer one than the other same simple uh, screw on screw off here is it on here's the four times macro on four times macro off so you can see the magnification factor so that's what I found um, in summary uh, 43 millimeter 
uh, lenses are what you're looking for. You can find telephoto, you can find wide angle. In my experience, the wide angle one is super useful if you're using this as a webcam or a streaming cam. And in addition to that, you can find uh, macro lens filters and you can also find all the other lens filters like CPL, UV, etc. Hope this video is useful and if you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.